Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you all have a lot of things going on in your life. I know I do. With work, this channel, this one over here, very needy. And tiny, not to mention taking care of myself, there's a lot of moving pieces in my life that can kind of become a circus. Recently Mike got a new job where he has to be on the other side of the country five days a week. So it's become even more important for me to stay organized so that things don't start falling apart over here and I make sure that everyone is taken care of. A little something you guys should know about me, I have a project management manufacturing and supply chain background so I take a lot of the stuff I've learned from school and work and apply it to my life to try to make it easier. I wanted to share with you today the ways that I myself stay organized as a dog mom, as a human mom, as an adult in the hopes that maybe those things may help you. The first thing I do to stay organized is calendar blocking. It may seem a little bit crazy and very controlling, but I promise it's not like that. I just have a very hard time completely understanding how long certain things take, and it takes me a while to like build up experience and understand like, okay, so from the time I get out of the shower and the time I'm ready to get out the door, it takes me 15 minutes to get ready, moving at a comfortable pace. So my mornings and my evenings when I'm not at work are incredibly orchestrated. I block out time to do literally everything. Brushing my teeth, walking the dog, getting my son dressed in the morning, watching Sesame Street with him. I put in all the things that I wanna keep doing, that I like to keep doing, that I don't wanna feel like I can't do, like watch Sesame Street with him, as well as all the things that I need to do just so I know that there's a time allotted for everything. I know a lot of people use Google Calendar for this. There's so many apps out there that you can use, but I am very simple and I just use Microsoft Excel. Over time, I've learned that like it takes me however many minutes to walk the dog or whatever and I block out little durations so I put the task and the duration of the task and that's how big or small I make the block in Excel and I can just drag those to any part of my schedule. A lot of times things change and that's totally fine. I just want to be able to go to bed knowing that I have enough time tomorrow morning to do all the stuff that I need to do. The same goes for nighttime. As soon as I get home from work, if I block out my calendar, I know exactly what time I have to leave the office in order to get to Tiny's school on time to pick him up. And as soon as we get home, there's a full list of all the stuff we have to do and the times that we need to do them. All so that everybody gets taken care of and I can get Tiny to bed on time. I also make sure to leave time for myself in the evenings to wind down, maybe I watch some TV for a couple minutes, but at least I have a deadline of when I wanna start doing that, when I wanna finish doing that. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of times when I don't 100% follow the schedule, but at least having it there as a baseline makes me more organized and likely to do the things that I need to do. The other thing really important for me to do is on Sunday, in the afternoon, while Tiny's taking his nap, I plan the week. So I plan all the dinners that I'm gonna have that week and I'm gonna make that week. And I have that plan up there because when I come home from work, I just wanna look at my meal plan and be like, okay, this is what I'm making tonight. If you do all that planning on Sunday, you don't have to worry about it on the weekdays. The second thing I do to stay organized is to have a place for everything and keep everything in that place. That is a very common manufacturing philosophy. Mm -hmm. When you have tools that you need or things that you need to have on hand like very quickly, you wanna make sure that you have a spot for all of those things and that everything is always in that spot. I use this philosophy for everything in our house. I love, and Mike makes fun of me all the time, I love going to the container store and just getting containers for things because just the fact that you have a bucket to place something makes you more likely to put it away in that bucket. That's how I organize Tiny's toys, and he now knows where everything is supposed to go, so he can even help me clean up if he needs to. His shoes are always in the same place, and I've noticed that for toddler shoes, they're so small. They don't really fit on shoe racks, and what's the point? They all get really dirty and disgusting anyway, so the easiest thing for us was to have a bin to put all the shoes in, and Tiny knows that his shoes go in that bin. So when we walk in every day after school, he removes his shoes, and I ask him to put them in the bin. Sometimes he even puts my shoes in there, even though they don't technically go in there but he yells at me like mama your shoes aren't in the bin no, I put them in the yeah put them in the bucket where you store things and what you do with them don't 100% have to make sense but as long as you know where everything is and you can easily access them 
It works really well. It won't take me that long to put Tiny's toys away because I know where everything is supposed to go. So it's almost like autopilot. I also do this for important paperwork, anything that I need to have on hand really quickly. So I have a couple files by the front door that have really important things in it, like Tiny's medical records and Phoenix's vet records. So anytime I do have to take her to the vet, I can just grab that folder and go. <laughs> Bless you! You okay? The only thing I still really struggle with is my phone because I bring it with me places, I set it down, and then I completely forget where it is. I constantly lose my phone in my house, and I'm sorry to my family who always says that like I never answer the phone. It's because I have no idea where it is. I'll like find it in between the couch cushions later and then be like, oh, I have 23 missed calls. And the last thing I do to stay organized is to get help. This step has been a lot easier now that Tiny is a toddler. He can walk, he can pick things up, he can understand really simple directions because he can help me around the house so much. The fact that he can take his shoes off and put them in the bin has greatly reduced my stress. And after dinner, it's his job to open up the dishwasher and pull out all the drawers so that I can put the dishes away. And it's a fun game for him. I'm like, open the top one, open the bottom one. Little things like that really make a huge difference. He's still getting better at putting his toys away. It's really hard, I guess, if you pick them up, you wanna play with them, right? It's hard to put them away, but we're working on that. The other thing I do that makes my life so much easier is that I have someone clean my house every other week. I know it kind of feels like cheating, having someone clean your house. I put it off for so long because I was like, I don't need this. Like, I don't want to spend money on something I can already do. But it allows me to spend time with Tiny or Phoenix or do more things. And someone else can vacuum up all the dog hair. Husky parents know that every other week is definitely not enough to keep up with a Husky's hair shedding. And I absolutely have to still vacuum and de-lint and clean a lot of things myself. But having somebody that does that consistently every other week really helps me. And on top of it, before she gets here, I really have to tidy things up if I want her to be able to clean efficiently. So it forces me every two weeks to kind of just like make sure that the toys are put away and the dishes are put away and that we have new sheets for the bed. And that's it. That's really how I stay organized. There are some cases where certain days or certain weeks, things just like get get really crazy and overwhelming and that's totally fine too but I always strive to like maintain my schedule and even if I don't I'm not really that hard on myself I just know that like I planned for this I tried to do it I did my best and if it still didn't work out then it didn't work out hopefully this stuff helped you guys let me know in the comments section below if you guys do the same stuff to organize your lives or if you plan to start doing one of these three things in the future I really am passionate about this kind of stuff it's kind of dorky how excited I get about making schedules and putting everything in the right place. But I can tell you it's definitely helped me achieve more than what I thought I could do in a day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. What do you want? If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there. Hello. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.